Hey, look, my ceiling is excited. <laughs> Did you have something to add already? I thought you would the minute I start a video. What did you have to say? What? What? Tell everybody. What? Oh, really? What's your story? Well, what's your story? His story is I'm hiding in plain sight. Um, I had friends over the other day. A friend of mine had a sober anniversary, so a friend brought that friend balloons, which he was like, I'm not carrying those out of here. And they were on strings, of course. And of course, the fact that they were moving slightly, Prankus was like, what? So I had to liberate them and have them be like, they can just say, my ceiling is excited. Beezy, can you move your butt so I can sit down, please? Move your butt. Move your Beezy butt. Move your Beezy butt. Anyway, what's up today, Billy? Uh, well, I'm working towards surgery next Thursday on my shoulder. So I'm really working on like, okay, let me do everything with my right hand and pretend my left hand doesn't exist. I'm left-handed. Oh my God. Uh, I tried to feed myself food this afternoon. <laughs> Not great. Uh, but this morning I realized after I made coffee one-handed and carried it in my right hand, uh, oh shit, the kitchen light switch is on. I can turn off a light switch with my chin. Mm. How's that for skill? Speaking of skills, people, uh, a friend of mine, I don't know if you remember a few weeks back, I was making little voodoo dolls for a friend of mine that paints them. My friend Jeffrey Doig Marks, artist I know. Well, his newer thing, I'm loath to show you these, but I don't think he'll mind. Well, if he does, I'll take it down. Um, he won't. He's now finding these uh, doll bodies, like canvas, stuffed canvas bodies with porcelain limbs, and he's putting heads on them, his own heads. And he's asked me to costume them. I don't know if you remember, I made a little baby straight jacket a little while back. That was for one of his. Then he had another one I did a, a little striped outfit for the other day, and now he's giving me three more. He said, I want one to be a henchman. Now, I'm, this is basically, I, I, I bought striped fabric for this very specific red and white striped shirt he wanted. Um, other than that, I'm kind of like going through my box of remnants and like, let me see what I got. And boy, is he lucked out on stuff I have to have because this henchman, I was like, okay, you mean like a hunchback? Should he be a hunchback? And he's like, yeah. Well, <laughs> here he is. Oh, let me see. Can we do this like this? Here he is. Look at these little heads he's putting on them. I love them. And he's got this little outfit that I made and these little raggedy pants that I put on him. I said he should he should definitely paint him down though so he's filthier and, and all that. But um, little belt I gave him on his little raggedy pants. And this is just fabric. This this top fabric, that was stolen from Beauty and the Beast about 17 years ago. Eep. Uh, I don't even know what this this orange came from, but well, that's what he got. So then uh, he had a, another, a male and a female figure a blank. Here's the, here's the male figure. He, he wraps them in this stuff when he travels them to me so they don't get wrecked. And the female one, I didn't realize till I just unwrapped her. Well, I don't know if he blew those boobs on her, but she got heels. So I was like, oh, female. Got it. And look at that butt. But dunk a dunk girl. Um, we were going to use the same striped red and white fabric that I had to do like 60s looking outfits on them. And then somebody contacted him when they saw uh, another one that he did, one of the ones I costumed, and said, oh, can you do a nun? So he's like, Billy, can you do a nun? So tonight I got to make this woman into a nun. And again, once again, lucked out, I happened to have black wool from a vest I made for myself 100 years ago and all sorts of uh, actually white stretch fabric cotton, stretch cotton that was the linings when I was making COVID masks. So sure, you lucked out. Let me make a nun. So I'm going to pattern this little doll into a nun. What's interesting is that their limbs don't bend. I mean, I, I can't get up in the armpits mostly to pattern things. It's tough. Almost like actresses I've dressed. I had an actress a Phantom of the Opera, I love this woman. She was an understudy for a principal role and she was brilliant on stage. But when she would come off stage for any of our changes, whether it was a leisurely change or a very fast change, she would literally power down and stop moving like a fucking mannequin. Like I am wrestling the jacket off of her shoulders and down her arms and like, girl, you gotta help. <sighs> Flash forward. How did I tear my rotator cuff? Years of things like that, maybe? So anyways, these dolls are kind of the same that I'm trying to like pattern up into an armpit without like crack, oops, sorry. So I think I got a nun figured out. I'll show, pray for me, say a novena, and I'll, I'll show you the end results when we get there. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go turn off lights with my chin and um, it's almost dinner time for certain animals. That's also why there's a lot of like, what are you doing, what are you doing going on, so. Let me get back to work. Okay, bye now.